In the last video we looked at arithmetic progression and saw the formulas to calculate the nth term and to calculate the sum of series. So in this video we will be looking at geometric progression. So I've already stated that a geometric progression is a sequence of numbers wherein if you take any two successive numbers they have a common ratio. For example in this sequence the common ratio is 2. Each number or each term is multiplied by 2 in order to get the next term. So here 2 is multiplied by 2 to get 4 which is again multiplied by 2 to get 8 and again and so on. So the ratio is the same. Take any two consecutive or successive numbers. So now let us look at the various formulas that geometric progression offers. So a geometric progression as I told you is a sequence of terms with a common ratio. The first term is named A and then to get the next term you multiply it by your ratio. So here we call the ratio as R. So we have multiplied it by R, the next term again multiplied by R. So we get A as the first term, second term is AR, third term is AR into R which is AR square and so on. So this example 1, 2, 4, 8, 16 is an example of a geometric progression. So the first term A is 1 and the ratio is 2. So to get the second term multiply the first term with the ratio. So 1 into 2 is 2 which again multiplied by 2 yields the third term which is 4 and so on. So if you have to find out the nth term, let's say you have to find out the sixth term in this example. We have five terms and you have to find out the sixth term. So you have to make use of this formula. Nth term is equal to a into r raised to n minus 1. So here we have to find out the sixth term. So put n is equal to 6 and the respective values of a and r to find out the value of nth term. And if you have to find out the sum of series, the sum of n terms in a geometric progression, then we have two cases. If the ratio is less than 1, that is the series is in a decreasing order, then you have to use the, this formula a into 1 minus r is to n divided by 1 minus r. And if the ratio is greater than 1, that is, that means that the progression is in an increasing order, the sequence is an increasing order, then you use a into r raised to n minus 1 divided by r minus 1. So by heart these formulas and you will be able to solve almost all problems related to geometric progression. With this, let us solve this example. Find the sum of 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus 16 plus so on till 1024. This series of numbers is in a geometric progression because it is in an increasing order and there is no common difference but there is a common ratio. So if you divide 4 by 2, the ratio you get is 2. If you take the ratio of 8 and 4, it is again 2. Taking the ratio of 16 and 8, it is again 2. So this is in a geometric progression. So solve this question and find out what the answer is. So here a is equal to 2 and the ratio r is equal to take any two successive take the take the ratio of any two successive numbers so 4 by 2 that is equal to 2 so the ratio is also 2 now we have been asked the sum of series so let's look at the formula for sum of series now our ratio is greater than 1 so we will use this formula so it's a into r raised to n minus 1 divided by r minus 1 the data that is missing is this n. So to find out n there is an easy way. If you look at the series carefully you will find out that it is a series of powers of 2. So the first one is 2 raised to 1, the second one is 2 raised to 2 that is 4, third one is 2 raised to 3 that is 8, then 2 raised to 4 and so on till you get 2 raised to 10. 1024 is the tenth power of 2. So now you can easily get what is n, the numbers, the total number of terms in this series. So 1, 2, 3, 4 till 2 raised to 10. So let's solve this. a is 2, r is 2 raised to 10 minus 1 divided by again r is 2 minus 1 which gives us 
2 into 2 raised to 10 is 1024 minus 1 divided by 1. That is 2 into 1023. Now this would get us 2046. So the answer for this question, the correct option is 2046, the second option. Now with this, let's solve a complicated problem. You have to find out the 10th term in this sequence. And the sequence is quite tricky here. So solve this and find out what the answer is. It's easy, you just have to use the formulas. Okay, we have been asked the 10th term. So here, n will be equal to 10. And the formula for any nth term is, let's see what the formula is nth term is a into r raised to n minus 1. Tenth term is a into r raised to n minus 1. Let's put the values. a is the first term that is 4 raised to 20 and r is, so you need to find out what is r. So r equals to, take any two consecutive numbers. So let's take this number and this number. So 2 into 4 raised to 19 divided by 4 raised to 20. So, okay, let's solve this. 2 into 4 raised to 19 divided by 4 raised to 20 can be written as 4 into 4 raised to 19. And 4 raised to 19 and 4 raised to 19 get cancelled. And 2 by 4 is 1 by 2. So r is 1 by 2 raised to n minus 1. n is 10 minus 1. So that gives us 4 raised to 20 into 1 by 2 raised to 9. So that again, if solved, gets us 4 raised to 20 into 1 by 2 raised to 9. Now, it gets a little bit tricky here. You have to derive this answer to one of these answers. So we need to reshuffle some of these to find out the answer. Now let's solve, solve these terms again. Find out what comes out. 4 raised to 20 can be written as 2 into 2 raised to 20 and this is divided by 2 raised to 9. Now this again 2 raised to 20 into 2 raised to 20. 20 is split onto the 2's then 2 raised to 9. Now you can cancel this out and two raised, it becomes 2 raised to 11. So 2 raised to 11 into 2 raised to 20. Now we want a single 2 outside. So the single 2 into 2 raised to 10, 2 raised to 11 can be written like this, into 2 raised to 20. We can club this 2 into 2 raised to 30. This can be written as 2 into 4 raised to 15. So the answer is 2 into 4 raised to 15. So the first one is the correct option.